Hey there, are you interested in learning how to trade without risking any money? Well, I've got some good news for you. In this video, I'm going to show you the secrets of paper trading on TradingView. You'll be able to test your trading strategies in real markets using fake money. It's the perfect way to learn and sharpen your skills without losing a single dollar. And here's the best part. You can start with a whopping $100,000 of virtual cash. Imagine the potential for profits. So, if you're ready to dive in and become a master trader, stick around. I'll guide you through every step, from opening your first chart to making your first paper trade. Get ready to take your trading game to the next level. Let's get started. Setting up paper trading. All right, let's jump into setting up TradingView for paper trading. First, open up TradingView in your browser or on the app. Once you're in, you'll need to open a chart. It doesn't matter which one you pick, but for this video, I'm going with Doge. To do that, head to the top of the screen, click on Products, and then select Super Charts. After you've got your chart, we'll scroll down to the bottom of the screen to find the trading panel. This is where all the magic happens. You'll notice several brokers listed here that allow real money trading. But since we're doing paper trading, we'll focus on that. Click on the Paper Trading tab, then hit Connect. This will link your TradingView account to the paper trading feature. If you don't have an account on TradingView yet, you'll need to sign up before moving forward. Once you're connected, you'll be ready to start trading with virtual money. Hold on! First off, thank you for sticking with the video. You've just taken a major step toward making your trading dreams a reality. If you're tired of juggling through multiple indicators and doing all the analysis yourself, only to lose big in the end, let me introduce you to BitsTurtle AI Bot. I've spent over a year perfecting this crypto trading bot, and I'm confident it will revolutionize the way you trade. Sick of manual trading and watching your hard-earned money slip away? You're just one click away from transforming your trading journey and living on autopilot. Grab the BitsTurtle AI bot from the description below. Configuring Paper Trading Account Now that you're all set up, it's time to configure your paper trading account to make it more like real trading. First, go to the Settings tab within the Paper Trading panel. One cool thing here is that you can reset your account balance to start with however much fake money you want. By default, TradingView gives you $100,000, but if you want to start with more or less, you can adjust that. Let's say you want to start with $1 million. Just type in that amount and hit Reset. Another important setting is to include commissions. In real trading, brokers usually charge a small fee every time you buy or sell. To make your paper trading more realistic, it's a good idea to turn this option on. Just check the box that says Include Commissions, and then choose whether you want it to be a fixed amount or a percentage. For example, you can set a $1 commission per trade. This makes a huge difference because it helps you see whether you would actually be profitable once these small fees are taken into account. After you've customized your balance and commission settings, don't forget to save everything. Understanding the interface. Next, let's take a quick look at the trading interface so you know where everything is. When you're in the paper trading mode, you'll notice a few important tabs, positions, orders, and history. Right now, these will be empty since we haven't placed any trades yet, but once we do, this is where all the info about your trades will show up. To start trading, check out the buy and sell buttons in the upper left corner of the screen. Clicking these will open up the order panel where you can place your trades. You can choose between different types of orders, like market orders or limit orders, but I'll explain more about those in a bit. This panel is where you'll do everything setting up trades, reviewing past trades, and keeping track of your positions. It might look like a lot at first, but don't worry. Once you place your first trade, it'll all start making sense. So now that you're familiar with the layout, let's move on to actually placing your first trade, executing market orders. Now that we've got everything set up and you're familiar with the interface, it's time to execute your first trade using a market order. A market order is the simplest type of trade you can make, it just buys or sells at the current market price. To get started, head to the upper left corner of your screen, where you'll see the buy and sell buttons. For this example, let's say we're going to buy Doge. Click on the buy button, and you'll see a panel pop up where you can adjust your trade. In this panel, you'll see the current price of Doge and a box labeled units. This is where you decide how much Doge you want to buy. 
Since Doge is only 14 cents per unit, you might want to buy big amount like 100 to 200 units. You'll also notice two other important fields, Take Profit and Stop Loss. The Take Profit option allows you to set a price level where your trade will automatically sell if the price goes up. This locks in your profits without you having to manually sell. On the other hand, Stop Loss sets a price where your trade will automatically sell if the price drops, protecting you from losing too much money. For this first trade, let's keep it simple. Set your Take Profit a little above the current price and your Stop Loss a little below. Once you've set your levels and chosen how much Doge to buy, hit the Buy button again to execute the trade. Congrats, you've just placed your first paper trade. Now let's review what happens next and how you can track your results. Trade Results and History Once you've made your trade, you can easily review the results in the Paper Trading panel. To do this, return to the Trading panel at the bottom of the screen and click on the History tab. Here, you'll see the details of the trade you just placed. You'll notice that your Entry Price, Take Profit Level and Stop Loss Level are all recorded here. If your trade was successful, meaning it hit your Take Profit, you'll see how much virtual profit you made. If it didn't go as planned and hit the stop loss, you'll see how much you lost. Either way, the commissions you set earlier will be reflected here as well, showing you the complete breakdown of costs. This is a great place to reflect on your trading decisions. Did your stop loss protect you from a big loss? Did you set your take profit too high or too low? By reviewing your trade history, you can learn what worked and what didn't, helping you improve for next time. Using Limit Orders now that you've placed your first market order, let's talk about limit orders. Unlike a market order, where you buy or sell at the current price, a limit order allows you to set the price at which you want to enter a trade. This gives you more control and is especially useful if you want to buy at a lower price or sell at a higher price than the current market level. Here's how to do it. Go back to the buy or sell button in the upper left corner and choose the limit option instead of market. Let's say you want to buy Doge but you think the price will drop soon. You set a limit order for $0.1334. This means you're telling TradingView to only buy Doge for you if the price hits $0.1334. Once you set the limit price, you can still add a take profit and stop loss, just like we did with the market order. If the price reaches your limit, the trade will execute automatically. Until then, the order will stay open, waiting for the right moment. After you've set your limit and adjusted your other settings, click Buy or Sell if you're placing a sell order, and your order is ready. Keep an eye on your chart, and when the price reaches your level, you'll be in the trade. You've now learned how to place both market and limit orders, which are the two most basic ways to trade. The next step is to keep practicing. The more you trade, the better you'll get at making smart decisions and managing your risk. Thanks for sticking with me till the end. If today's insights on crypto trading strategies grabbed your attention, you're in for something big. Right here on your screen is the next video, packed with techniques to 10x your trading profits. I've got a feeling it's exactly what you need to level up your game. Go ahead, click, and start boosting your gains.